Welcome to Shelly's Cuisine. Today we're going to make barbecue ribs. And there are different ways to make it, but seeing as how we're stuck inside, we're gonna make it inside the oven. So I've already seasoned the meat and I've put herbs and spices. Visit our marinade, marinade it section on my website to find out what I put on it. Anyway, what we're going to do, we need a Pyrex dish. I have cut it in half because it's too long to fit in the dish. And we're gonna cut it up anyway. So it doesn't matter if we cut it now or we cut it later. All right, so what we're gonna do is a little unusual. We are going to add half a cup of water. So we just need a little bit of water to be in the bottom. Oh, messy. And now we're gonna add some herbs. So I have thyme. And we're just going to drop this in the water and we're going to put a little bit on the meat. Okay. Then we're going with rosemary. I don't have a lot of rosemary because I didn't get to the store. So I only have two pieces, but we'll use what we have. All right. Sage. Don't make this without fresh sage. It's important. So you're going to put the sage in the water and you are even the stock. That is going to flavor. The water is going to flavor great. We are going to use fresh basil, okay? So putting these herbs in the water with your seasoned ribs is going to make it real good. And we want to use bay leaf. I got about three bay leaves here, okay? So now we have our herbs in and we have the water and we need some clove. Clove is very good. It goes very well with pork. And so we want some cloves. All of this is going to come together in the oven. We have pimento. If you can't find pimento, don't worry. You can make it without it. But if you do have pimento, therefore, you should go ahead and you should use the pimento seeds. Again, in the water. Last thing we're going to put is fresh ginger. Ginger goes well with pork. So I've cut up some ginger slices and we want it to be in the water. And... We can put a little piece on the meat. Guess what? We're finished. So all we have to do is now get this in the oven. So we do have to seal it with Reynolds wrap. Okay. And because I'm going to use two sheets, it's very important. You want to seal it because when this starts uh, to bake, you want all the herbs and the flavor to stay inside. And so, we are going to bake this in the oven on either 375 or 400 based on your oven. We are not trying to do it at 350, okay? So we're gonna do this for either an hour and a half or up to two hours. Um, so for me, I'm gonna put it in at 375 for two hours. This is gonna be completely cooked and we will be back. We will put barbecue sauce on it and then we will finish it off in the broiler. For this particular uh, episode, we are going to use regular barbecue, barbecue sauce from the store. Next time, I'm going to teach you how to make root beer barbecue sauce. Finger licking good. All right, we'll be back. Okay, it's about an hour, and it's time for us to turn our ribs. That looks great, and it smells great too. So all you have to do at this point is just turn your ribs, use a spatula, and you'll know when it starts getting close to cooking, when the ribs start moving away from the bone a little bit. And we can put a little bit of herbs, just put that there. It really smells great. And this is why we use natural herbs and we don't put too much water because we just want the water to bring the herbs. And that's it. We are going to put it back for the other hour and we are 
going to wait and then we will do our sauce. Okay, see you later. Okay, we're back and our ribs are ready and now we're going to make the sauce. But what we're going to do, since we're just going to use a lot of different sauce, we're going to just make a mix match. Um, you can use any sauce you want. I do recommend that you combine more than one different type of barbecue sauce. So, I'm just going to go ahead and mix. I'm just trying to make a combination. I have to remember that I have to glaze both sides. I love using the sweet bourbon. I buy this at BJ's. It's very good. It's like a marinade, I guess. Well, I guess we should finish it. And they also have a mango coconut habanero. I like to put that in as well. You have to be careful because if these are watery, then your sauce wouldn't be thick. Heinz Barbecue Carolina. This is what I have on hand. Normally, I make my own barbecue sauce. Root beer barbecue sauce from scratch. So, we didn't do that this time, but you look out for that recipe coming soon. Grey Poupon Mustard. This is a staple for me. When you look at my website, there is a staple section. And that means a staple is something that you just have to have in your house because you're cooking. And so for me, the Grey Poupon is a staple because I use it in so many things. And I like to put a little bit of mustard. Mustard on ribs is good. Even when I seasoned it, I put mustard. Okay, so I think I'm good. My barbecue sauce is still nice and thick, and I've mixed it, and now I'm going to be ready to glaze. Okay, I'll just rest that there, don't make a mess. Okay, here are our ribs. Our ribs are all done, and now we are going to get the barbecue sauce on these ribs. So. You just take off all the herbs. We don't need that. We will be discarding that. We just needed it. It smells great. So I have a choice. I could glaze the, the top or the bottom. I'm going to glaze the bottom first. I'm sorry. It's not glazed. It's putting barbecue sauce on. Excuse my words. This you're going to discard. So you won't worry about that. And then we're going to take this barbecue sauce and we're going to get it on the ribs. And we're going to put a lot. You're going to get it on the bone. And then we're going to put this in the broiler. Right now I've preheated my broiler for about five minutes on high. And I am going to char or finish off the ribs in the boiler. So it will almost be as if I did it on the grill outside. But I didn't. And make sure you get in between and really put the sauce there. Get the sauce on the side. We're not worrying about the other side. We will get the sauce on the other side when we turn it over. We just want to get it on the ends. And so now, this is good to go back in the oven. So we're probably going to broil this on high for maybe about five minutes for it to char and then we're going to turn it over. Okay, so now we have charred one side of the ribs and we're going to get ready to char the other side and then our ribs will be finished. We're going to turn it over. Little extra herbs, you can take those off. Okay, time for more barbecue sauce. Again, get all sides, get the edges. Also get the bones. Again, when the bones move away, when the meat moves away from the bones, that's a sign of it 
uh, having uh, been cooked. Okay, again, go a little bit heavy on the sauce and on the ends. And we're going to put this back for another five minutes to get it to char, and then our ribs will be finished. We're back. Our ribs are finished, and it's time to cut. figure out where to cut. Wow. Okay. There are our ribs. And it's time to taste. Yes, we have to eat the ribs with our hands. Wow. Will is soft. Off the bone. Soft. Pretty good. Absolutely delicious. Thank you for joining us at Shelly's Cuisine while we made barbecue ribs. Please join us www.shellyscuisine.com for the recipe and join us next week to find out what we will twist next.